Good morning, guys. Um, I'm going to put out a short video. I've got some longer ones coming out, but I, it's, it's 5 in the morning. This is my prayer time, or one of them. I've been up since 2, honestly, 2.15. Um, <clears throat> but I've got a very busy day ahead, so I wanted to get this out. But here's the scriptures. It's out of Matthew 21, 42, I believe. Because of iniquity, the love of many will wax cold. Look it up, just type in because of iniquity and you'll be, there's a lot of scriptures in there. Type it in in your Bible search tools. The other part of that is look up the definition of iniquity. Immoral and unfair. These are the other scriptures. Read. 2 Timothy 3 and 4. What I want to highlight in 3 is, you know, this could be perilous times in the last days, but read the whole thing. 4, I want to highlight, they'll have itching ears, believe lies, fables. That's where we're at, guys. I woke up this morning and it's like it's surreal. We've, we've idolized too many things this whole political mess has been idolized and I'm putting it out this morning because so many people it's like a circus show honestly we've got to get back to the Bible his word to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word being our source. We've put too much emphasis on this election. But there's sin in this nation, guys. It's time to repent as a nation and turn from our wicked ways. And that's why we've allowed this to slide in, honestly. There's sin behind it. I'm not going to change that and back down from that and change. Some of the main themes behind it of what people are saying is the abortion issue, the gay rights issue, the, all the different agendas, um, the COVID garbage. I'm not saying the disease isn't real. I'm not saying it's not hurting people. It's not been very detrimental. But who is this guy, Dr. Fossey guy? Anyhow, I mean, infectious, whatever, disease guy. And one of the main themes he barks about, or the main thing that the media or everybody else barks about is to wear a mask. Well, I never see one on him, hardly. Practice what you preach. I wouldn't go to sit in his church. Probably doesn't have one anyhow, but. It's that iniquity, guys. We've idolized. The Lord showed me this a while back. That America has more idols than India. Ouch. I put some out. People don't want to hear that. That one of the messages I put out. One virus took out the church. We all want to say how powerful and great and awesome we are and all this other stuff. It's time to repent, guys. We've got innocent blood on our hands. From the unborn, because they don't have a voice. But really, no lives matter, just a few. And it's the love of many. It's the iniquity that I'm that I'm that I'm targeting and after and being specific on. It's the iniquity that abounds in this country, and we wonder why we got issues. Time to turn, guys. Read Luke eight, eleven. Also, guys, I'm putting these out there because of the 
hour that we're in this morning. I woke up this morning and it's like, man, I don't feel slimed. Lied to. I'm going to put this out there, not to politicize it, but to kind of clear the air a little bit. Okay? Of course, there was a lot of nefarious stuff that went on during this last election. But the biggest one was what the media and the social media did to change people's minds, but they weren't really changed. It was the iniquity that had already changed their minds. They wanted to live, people want to live in their, in their sin, in their iniquity, because it abounds. But it doesn't have to, guys. We've got to turn this around. We may not got to turn around your own life. If my people are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. <clears throat> That's who I'm targeting, guys. It's the people that want to listen. Can you hear me now? That's what Jesus is saying. He questioned it. Elijah was in the cave and God confronted him. What are you doing here? Read it. Read the story. I'm hiding out because, you know, Jezebel wants to kill me. I don't think so. God's like, what are you doing here? What are we doing here, guys? We've idolized everything. From football to holidays to name, name it. Man, there's so many of them. We've idolized the, po the political system. We've idolized the Democrats versus the Republicans. We've idolized the presidency. We've idolized Trump. He was going to be the savior. We've idolized Biden. He's going to be, the, you know, now half people say he's going to heal the land and all this other stuff or whatever, you know. I'm just saying, guys. It's the iniquity that's destroying us as a nation and as a land and as a people. It's the sin. Most of what they're barking about is the love of money. It's a control of a few people, and that's what they want. That whole system. Pretty screwed up. I'm just saying, guys, I'm telling you, just being straightforward with you. I'll give you a little bit of an example of how the media, not just the media, they're not just barking about the media, but how they twisted it up, how people have twisted it up, but they've used it. Seems like it's not, but it is. Okay, let's go back to 2016. Okay. I wouldn't have voted more because of her stance, mostly on abortion, but of the life, but Hillary Clinton got a taste of it. Bad taste, unfortunately. James Comey investigated her for so many years over this email. She, you know, the woman admitted on national television, I believe she was meant it from her heart that she made a mistake and nobody could let, and couldn't let it go. Comey Right before the election, how many days was it before the election, guys, when he said that they were going to still investigate her? Why did he do that? It was a, it was a ploy on his part to save his job. Nothing to do with anything. He just was abusing his authority, honestly. He thought he had a better chance with Trump than he would with her because he'd been investigating for three years. She would have took him out of his office right away, probably. Anybody would have put the shoe on the other foot. If somebody had been trashing you for three years and then you suddenly come become their boss, would you keep them? No, probably not. So it's to save his own skin and his own position. But he threw her under the bus because yes, it probably did sway some of the votes. Enough to change the election, probably, but God had a purpose for that and a reason for that, too. And I'm just saying it was because of the sin and the iniquity, too, that was abounding then, too. We've 
got to clear the deck, guys, of this sin that's within. Five a.m. time to weep and pray as a nation between the porch and the altar. Come on, guys. Let's change this equation. Let's turn this around. I'm gonna end with this. Nobody wants to hear all these different idols. Look it up. Here's it. This one's free. It's a message I got out called Holiday Idols. Man, I'm 60, guys. Grew up with a lot of Christmas memories. Some really good ones. But we idolized it. It's one of the many things. We've taken out Christ. You can't say Merry Christmas, you can't say Christ, you can't say the birth of Jesus, I mean, it, we probably got the day wrong anyhow. It's more about an $800 Christmas tree and how many you got and how many lights are on it. The presents that you give somebody we replaced Jesus with Santa Claus. Come on guys, I know that hurts. It's all about Black Friday, the money. The gifts. Same thing with the selection. It's all about some man-made, you know, the government, okay? Well, Isaiah 9, I believe 6, the government shall rest upon his shoulders. He's going to be a wonderful counselor, king of kings. It's full of iniquity, guys. The love of money is the root of all evil. And it's, I'm just telling you guys, it's a surreal day. But it's time to turn as a nation. We want our country back. So let's get rid of the sin of the iniquity in all of our hearts, mine included. And with this, it's kind of like, man, I've been guilty of it. It's like Facebook. It's like Facebook is almost like road rage now, guys. Push a button, they click, blast something out there, shove something down somebody's throats and run on and go hide and go to work or whatever. You click a post that sounds good and, you know, everything from fact checkers to some of it's true, some of it's not. People are angry. It's just... It's iniquity, guys. Bounding. We've all got some guilt on this. But I'm going to end with this. I am. It's a good message. I don't want your guilt. I don't want your wealth and fame. I want your guilt and shame. I was looking for those dark, hidden, secret spots in our hearts. Where we won't even go. We've got them locked down. It's a nuclear bunker. It's covered in concrete and 85 padlocks and we won't even go there. Why does he want to go there? Because he wants to set us free. Because iniquity. That's why this country. We're going to be the light of the world again, guys. But right now, it seems like gross darkness and darkness because of iniquity. Love you guys. Um, I'm going to put out some more messages this weekend. I've just been really, really busy doing some things. Some obedience things for the Lord, actually. I will end with this, okay? I've been involved in some stuff with the different, couple different ministries and different things that the Lord told me to do. Well, I had some storages that I was cleaning out, and I ended up with a lot of things that I had to give away, that I gave away to some homeless shelters. And they were picking it up. They had a thrift shop. And one day, I literally had, guys, two to 500 pairs of all different kind of sizes. But it had been in different storages and came from different places. It was dirty underwear, guys, and socks. I have a thousand pairs of socks, but the underwear, and the Lord told me, he said, you know, I, I was boxing it. He told me to, to box it up and to wash it. 
And I was like, oh, so I'm going through these bag boxes. And I'm like, Lord, I'm, I'm a child of the king. What am I doing? Digging through boxes of dirty underwear. That I don't even know where it's been. But I was obedient. But I was grumbling, of course. Complaining, of course. Went and washed it. 24 bucks, guys. Corn. I mean, there's a lot of... Took a lot of loads. It took that cut several days to do all this. And I'm digging and I'm like, so I set it aside. The box was a, a, a dishwasher box, guys, full. Pretty good thought, you know. What am I going to do with this, Lord? Set it aside. Well, the homeless shelter came. They were picking up loads of stuff from me. Some good stuff, you know. I put a lot of effort into going through it and making it nice, clean, orderly. And I told the lady, I said, man, you know, I was kind of a little embarrassed too, you know. It's like, I got this box. I said, it was underwear. But I cleaned it. You know, I washed it. And her eyes got really big. And she was like, man, the homeless people don't get that kind of stuff. Nobody thinks about that. They get a lot of other stuff. She was glad to get it. Very elated. It was just almost like excited. I was like, okay, God, I get it now. So where I'm going with this is, it's a small thing, yes, but it's the obedience. What's he, tell us, what's he telling you to do? With this election infection, with the lies, with the just garbage, with the Facebook garbage, with the censorship garbage, with all the iniquities. What he's telling you to do is pray, seek his face, get direction. Your source needs to be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Not CNN, Trump or Biden, pick one. Or the censorship or any of this other garbage. I'm not saying that we need to ignore it either because it's very prevalent and it's in our face. And we need to say something about it. If that's what God's telling you to do, back to the same thing, the obedience. What's he telling you to do with this? But it has to start in prayer. It has to be birthed in prayer. It has to be birthed in your communication. You're just laying your heart out before the Lord. What do I do with this, God? With this anger, with this un unforgiveness, with this un not understanding it, with this... I Because it's... Because it's back to Timothy. We're being deceived, guys, but we're not being deceived by the system. We're being deceived by the enemy. So are our leaders. Right now. I said this is surreal. But it's because of iniquity and sin. We want our country to be a godly nation again. Let's get rid of the sin from within. Love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. Uh, I have some, I'm trying to take some time off this weekend to put together some other messages. Um, maybe over this whole weekend, actually. I'm going to try to take off. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.